At the time when I was studying, I was very convinced by the literature that showed how growth, which is used as a proxy for social welfare, um, really fails to capture the substantive goals of what we want and need mm. in our society. So it's why I'm always still a bit surprised that the, um, the alternative is, is, is also still using this terminology of degrowth, while I think the critique equally applies to that, that it still doesn't... Uh, put a finger on what we really uh, need and don't need uh, for uh, um, a good society and a sustainable society in the future. So there are multiple, they relate to um, value of health, of care, uh, of, of for affordable and accessible um, um, food, uh, so nutrition, shelter, housing, so, so um, mobility, but also access to the internet, um, political voice, so these are substantive um, goals, I would say, for social policies to increase, um, um, to increase these uh, social rights for everyone in society. And I think, yeah, so the, using degrowth as the solution or the denominator doesn't really tackle the, all the, okay. the issues that are underneath. And you also see some blind spots. Um, I think in the degrowth literature, um, in which I'm not an expert, but I think the um, potential uh, lever of uh, finance is, is really a bit underexplored. Um, they tend to go um, into uh, discussions of whether it is uh, whether we can afford uh, a transition or whether the welfare state um, redistributional systems are compromised if you go towards degrowth, but really the analysis of how the finance system is currently um, uh, channeling uh, the, uh, the financial streams in our society to certain goals and not to others, to certain investments and not to others, mm. to the ones we need is really uh, the consequence of a, of, um, a regulatory framework, mm. the rules by which banks and financial system work. And I think there's really a lot of potential um, to, uh, to uh, make policy that this financial framework is in line with societal goals that would enable um, uh, um, what is currently deemed um, impossible yeah. because of uh, too little resources of the state, which is really maybe not the essence of the analysis. Talking about regulatory frameworks, I guess we best then look at the European level to change these things? Both at the European level, yes, of course, the monetary uh, um, instruments are very important and can hardly be overestimated, but also at the national level within uh, states, there could be drawn sustainable uh, finance plans, where there could be rules on how, for instance, the, the public um, uh, finance um, is uh, channeled to the, the, the goals, the projects that we need and not anymore to the project that we know we need. Okay, and uh, in order to see what we need, we don't need, we also have to make sure we n leave no one behind. Uh, this is called the just transition uh, principle. I think this is also key for building another economy. Yeah, absolutely. So we see that just transition is a concept that has a very bit of a um, vague definition. Everyone can adopt it and mm. use it for mm. in its own context or for its own goals and, and terms. So um, I think um, it is increasingly acknowledged that the social dimension, the, the, the social justice dimension, distributional as well as procedural, is really important for bringing a sustainable society about um, and that the, uh, there is still a lot of discussion necessary to determine which uh, social justice, how to understand it um, and how can we implement it in, in policies. But I think this, this notion of just transition is certainly helpful to, uh, to, to bring the debate uh, to, that, to those kind of questions.